Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on modeling using the binomial distribution on a Casio ClassWiz. We're going to use distribution mode on the ClassWiz to help us answer this question. A budget mobile phone network has a 95% call connection rate. On a given day, Jamal makes 40 calls, find the probability that, and then we've got four questions to answer. Now, before we answer these, we need to set up the model for the binomial distribution. So I'm going to set this up as the variable X is binomially distributed with an N of, well, N is going to be the number of calls, so it's 40 calls. And because if we look at the questions, they focus mainly on the calls not connecting, do not connect. And if you think about it, the probability of a connection is 95% or 0.95. So the probability of not connecting is 1 minus 0.95 or, or 0.05. And that's what I'm going to use in the model as my p-value, 0.05. Now, there are some conditions that we just need to check are satisfied in order for us to be able to do this. Firstly, that we've got a fixed number of observations or a fixed number of calls in this case, which we have. Secondly, that each is independent. So that's saying that uh, each call that's been made by Jamal is independent from one another. Well, yes, we'll assume that's true. So with each call, there is either a success or a failure. So in this case, for example, either the call's connected or it's not connected. And so that's true. Essentially, that's, that's where the name binomial comes from. You've got two by meaning two. There are two different outcomes that can happen. Either it's, it's successful or it's not successful. And lastly, we need to make sure that the probability is the same throughout each. So yes, the probability of connecting the call is always 95% and therefore not connecting the call is 5% each time. So we are okay to model this with the binomial distribution. So let's go forward and answer the questions. So the first question in part A here, uh, we need to find out the probability of exactly two of these calls do not connect. So exactly two of these calls don't connect. So we're going to navigate to distribution mode and press equals. Now because it's got exactly two of these calls, we are going to need binomial PD, binomial probability distribution, to find out the exact value for two calls. And then we have the variables here rather than a list of data. So we're going to press two. And we've got to input our X, N and P. So our X for part A is two, it's two calls. Our N is 40, Jamal made 40 calls in total. And our probability of do not connect or not connecting is 0.05. So just input those figures, and then when you join, you just need to press equals to confirm, and that should generate a probability for us. And here's a probability, 2.777 to four decimal places and so on. So let's have a look at part B. So part B, we find the probability that at most four calls do not connect. So we've got at most. So we could mo model this as the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. We are going to need the binomial cumulative distribution for this. So we just need to come back into menu, distribution mode, and then we want to navigate down. We want binomial CD, binomial cumulative distribution. And once again, variable. We've got our data here from when we inputted it previously, but we need to change our x to 4 now. We want to find out the probability of x being less than or equal to 4. And here we have, well, 0.95, well, 2.0 if we're going to give it to four decimal places here. So there's actually there 95% probability that there won't be any more than four calls that don't connect. So part C, find the probability that more than two calls do not connect. Well, if we're looking for more than two calls, we're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to do one minus the probability of something. So more than two calls really means the probability or is the same as the probability of three or more calls. So if we find the probability that X is less than or equal to two calls and then subtract that from one, that will find out the probability of the number of calls that do not connect to be greater than two. So we're going to stick with binomial cumulative distribution, but we're going to change X this time to two. And we'll keep N and P the same. So press equals just to confirm. And here we have the probability in the first instance. Remember, this is the probability of it being equal to two or less. And what I'm going to do is to store that into memory A. So press store and then A. 
and the class we should confirm stored to A. And then press menu and we want to go to calculate mode, so press 1. And then we want to do 1 minus A. So we want to do 1 minus alpha A, 1 minus the probability we just found to find out the probability that more than two calls do not connect. And here we have our probability 0.32334 decimal places and so on. Now for the very last question there, it says in terms of the model used in parts A to C, so that's the binomial, explain the consequence of the discovery that Jamal called the same individual five times. Well, if you think back to the beginning, one of the conditions of us modeling this with the binomial distribution was that each call was independent from each other. And now that we've discovered that Jamal is calling someone, presumably not getting through, not getting connected, and then calling them again later and doing that up to five times, well, that's not independent. The calls that he's made after the first one are because he didn't connect with his first or previous calls. So the, those calls are no longer independent, and so therefore we can't model the situation with the binomial. It's no longer appropriate for us. So there we go, how we can model a situation using the binomial distribution and how we can work out subsequent probabilities using the binomial distribution mode on the class whiz. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time on the calculator guide.